In this video I will show you how to install Caliber Web. Install Docker with this command, all information will be in the pinned comment so you can copy and paste it. Create a directory for Docker containers and one for Caliber Web within it using these two commands. Create a Docker Compose file using this command. Here is what my Docker Compose file looks like. After you paste it do not forget to change Mo to your username. Start the container with this command. Make a directory for the database and enter it using these two commands. Then download the initial empty database with this command. It is in the pinned comment. Connect to the web interface. If your server has a desktop environment and a web browser on go to localhost colon 8083. Otherwise find the IP address of the server using this command. Then connect to it from another device which must be on the same network. From now on I will put server as the link but just replace it with what it should be for you, either the IP or localhost. You are now in the Caliber web interface. The default username and password are on screen use them to sign in. Now set the database location to slash books and then click the folder icon. You should see the metadata.db file. That means you did it right. Click select then click save. It should say database settings updated in a green bar at the top as shown here. Now we must allow book uploads. Go to this link. Open feature configuration menu. Enable this option and then save. Now go to this page. Edit the admin user and select allow uploads. And change your password too. I also recommend you remove random books in detail view. Go to this link and then deselect show random books in detail view. And now save. Now you can upload and read books in the browser. But what about when using portable devices when you aren't at home? We will install Tailscale for this. First use this command to install Tailscale. And then sign in by running this command. They will be in the pinned comment. This will give you a link to sign into Tailscale which is free. Then install Tailscale on your other devices and make sure to sign in using the same account. This is the link for documentation if you need help with installing Tailscale on your other devices it's also in the pinned comment. When setting up Tailscale, edit the hostname to something easy to type and memorable for examples Ubuntu. This will be done in the web console of Tailscale. From now on, while Tailscale is enabled and both devices are turned on you can go to your phone or laptop's web browser and just type this link and access Caliber Web even when not connected to your home network. iOS Nighttime Reading Tip Swipe down to open the search bar and search for color filter. Set it to be as red as possible. Then you can add the icon to control center and at nighttime enable it to eliminate blue and green light. This works a lot better on OLED devices. This can also be used to enable grayscale instead. Thanks for watching. Happy reading.